What's up everybody, Kwame here from the Mobileographers, back with a video to talk about Chrome OS, Android apps, and mobile photography and videography to an extent. So if you don't know what Chrome OS is, it's an operating system made by Google. You know Google makes Android, which runs on phones, but they also make a laptop operating system called Chrome. Now really it's a web browser, but now there are a lot of Chromebooks that can run Android apps. So you get the benefit of having the app that you like using on your phone being able to use on a large device like this. I've been playing with this for a couple weeks now because I had an older Chromebook that couldn't run Android apps. And I upgraded to this Chromebook here and I have to say it is pretty sweet what you can do now with Android apps on Chrome OS. Now last week I was gonna make this video and it would have been a different video because there was a lot of limitations with Android apps on Chrome. However a lot of that has been changed with the recent update to Chrome OS. Now I am running the beta version of Chrome. Now on Chrome OS Android apps can write and read to the SD card. Let me be clear, not every single app can do that. The app has to be enabled by the developer to do that. So something like Lightroom, you still can't save your catalog or your offline files to the SD card, but you can import pictures that you have saved on SD card or any external uh, storage, and you can export to either an SD card or another like a micro USB card or something like that that you have hooked up to your Chromebook. To me, this is really cool because if you're traveling and you want to travel light, you can bring a Chromebook that doesn't cost too much, put an SD card into it so you can add another 120 gigabytes worth of storage for $50, $60, if that. And now you have a really nice backup system on the go and if you use something like Snapseed or VSCO, Lightroom to an extent, you can read and write to the SD card, edit your pictures on the Chromebook, post to Instagram, Facebook, 500px, wherever you post to, you can post to it from your Chromebook. Overall, it's a pretty good system and I really like the direction that Google is going with by combining Android and Chrome OS. One of my biggest gripes with the iPad is you don't get a full web browser on the iPad. Yes, I still think an iPad is better for photo editing and especially video editing than a Chromebook or even Android in general, but I do think that with this update, being able to read and write to the SD card and having a full web browser like Chrome, it really expands the possibilities of Chromebook. Now, not all Chromebooks I think are good for photo editing uh, on the go. I would say get something that has a pin input, so Samsung has it, uh, Google Pixelbook has it, Asus has a couple, HP I believe has a couple. Those would be the ones I would go with and also I prefer ones that you can flip the screen all the way over. There are a couple of tablet only options so I know Asus has one and HP has one. The HP one is actually pretty good and seems like a pretty good uh, pickup. The Asus tablet, I've heard mixed reviews about it, so I'm not 100% sure about that one, but I'll have links to other videos to those reviews down below. Overall, I'm really excited about this update to Chrome and Android on Chrome. Now, I did say video to an extent. You can install video editors on your Chromebook. They cannot read or write to the SD card yet, or well, the two that I tried aren't able to yet. Uh, Power Director and I think it's called Kinney Movie, Kinsey Movie. I can't, I don't know. It's I'll leave a link down to it below. It's a pretty good video editor, but they still can't read or write front to the SD card. So you have to put your videos on the internal storage and then edit the videos from there. If you have something like mine, which is a 32 gigabyte uh, internal storage, you're going to be limited. And that's the other thing with Android apps. You can't save them to the SD card yet. I fully expect you to be able to but right now you can't do that so even though I have 32 gigabytes of storage on here I have about 18 gigabytes of left of free space which is probably gonna be pretty good now that I can save pictures to the SD card and have Lightroom pick it up from there and it's pretty nice to be able to export a picture out to Snapseed finish editing it and then if you want to post it straight to Instagram you can do that to your from your Chromebook 
If you want to see a video about the apps that I use in my Chromebook, let me know down in the description below. I probably will be making one anyways, but I would like to hear from you guys. So let me know if you do have a Chromebook and if you've tried using Android apps to edit pictures on there. I know it was wonky, but it has gotten a lot better just in the last week since I was about to release this video. What's up everybody? So I actually wanted to jump in here and show you what it looks like to use the Android apps on your Chromebook. So as you can see, this is Lightroom CC and this is my Chromebook desktop. Uh, let me just minimize this so you can actually see this is the desktop. So when I go into the Chrome into Lightroom CC here on the Chromebook, I can open up, let's take this folder here from the Wildlife Refuge and I can work on these pictures using Lightroom CC, the mobile version of course, but you have all your controls so if you want to open up the shadows on here you could do so, all right, tone down the highlights, things like that, but the really nice part is say you wanted to edit this in Snapseed because you like Snapseed better, you can share it, open it out to Snapseed, make whatever adjustments you want to make. Let's say we'll just do this for the sake of the video. Like, ah, yeah, this is perfect. Hit save. And then hit done. It saves your picture. Opens you back up into Lightroom. And now from Lightroom, you can add the image. Now, this is one thing where it kind of hiccups still. Uh, as you can see it didn't even though I hit the plus button nothing happened you have to go up here shrink the window then go back at it choose files open up the file you want to add and then do it that way it is you know a, a little wonky still and that is an extra step but I'm very confident that Google is gonna fix that uh, at some point may not be tomorrow but I, I do feel it's gonna be you won't have to deal with that uh, for long and then the picture that you edited in the snapseed is right there you know for you to continue editing or to look at you know and share now what's really cool is when you go up here and share picture you can see you can share it to a multiple uh, apps you know that support sharing in, uh, files between each other and if you want to share multiple pictures you can you just have to hold down get the pictures you want to share and then from there it will load up those three pictures that I just selected and you can share them again you know to the desktop or upload them to Google Photos add them to VSCO or the Creative Cloud this, this is an Adobe product so I just wanted to throw that in there before the end of this video. As always, thank you for watching this video. I will be making more videos on this channel about photography, videography, using your phone, your tablet, a Chromebook, an iPad, whatever you're using. I'm going to start having more tips and tricks and just how-tos about uh, all that kind of stuff. Thank you for watching this and I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later.